Number 10, Madonna. What is there to say about this woman's career? Madonna has been stuck in our heads since we first heard her hits like Material Girls and Crazy For You. What may have also gotten stuck in your head though was just how gorgeous this woman once was. In the 1980s, Madonna was well known for her stylish duds and big blonde hair, at times channeling some serious Marilyn Monroe energy. It was unfortunate that Madonna felt the need to fall into the world of plastic surgery and injections as she got older. Photo comparisons from the 80s to now showcase the major changes with her forehead appearing to be pushed out as well as her cheeks and her lips being filled with enough Botox to give her the appearance of someone wearing a mask of Madonna over their own face. What's more is this common seems to have molded her eyes into the almond shape of the cat. Fans have always been left wondering what she may have looked like if she never got any surgery. Would she still be a material girl or would that material be riddled with stain? Number 9. Kendall Jenner There have been rumors about the Kardashian crew getting cosmetic surgery since the moment that they first appeared on our screens. Each and every member of that family are accused of having either a nose job or cheek fillers, but Kendall has one noticeable difference that stands out from the rest. In side by sides, Kendall's eyes are actually a little bit larger than they once were, as well as more almond shaped. Several doctors have chimed in online and claimed that there is no way she could have achieved this look by simply using cosmetics. Unless they have some kind of a magical substance that yanks your face back, but it probably exists, but that's still very suspicious. Number 8, Bella Hadid. Bella is actually one of the main reasons that this surgery has become so popular. When you compare photos of Bella 10 years ago, to ones taken this year, it's night and day. Not only have her cheeks noticeably shrunken and become more toned, but her eyes are more almond shaped and cat like. Bella was one of the first people to openly admit to receiving the treatment as a way to further enhance her already obvious beauty. Bella has been drenched in plastic surgery rumors for a long time. In 2018, she clapped back at her so called haters, telling them that she was horrified of what plastic surgery may do to her face. While cat eye is not considered to be plastic surgery, it's still an invasion of one of the most sensitive areas of your face. But I guess that's okay. As long as nothing gets injected into her eyeball, everything's fine. Number 7. Selena Gomez The former Wizards of Waverly Place star has been dodging surgery rumors left and right for a very long time. Fans have noticed her face changing over the years. The side-by-sides from her Disney days show drastic changes in her facial features. Not only does she clearly have some kind of a cheek filler, but her eyes are much, much more cat-like than the original form. Selena has admitted to using skincare products in the past designed to enhance features without the need of invasive surgery. However, no foundation on this earth can give Selena the features that she currently possesses. It comes as no surprise that Selena is actually a spokesperson for several beauty and cosmetic brands and has adamantly denied that she has received any kind of major surgeries. She's been shutting down rumors left and right for a very long time, even deleting photos from Instagram because they received such massive slews of negative comments. While it's never been confirmed if she actually received any work, just watching her on screen these days is enough to prove that the young Alex Russo we once knew has vanished into thin air. Number 6. Nicki Minaj When it comes to Nicki Minaj and plastic surgery, she only has one response. What's good? No, no, she just denies it. Rumors have been flying around since the moment she first appeared on our screens and stages. Over the years, fans claim to have inside information that Nikki has received cheek implants, both in her face and her backside. With one of her closest friends turning on her in 2013 and claiming that she was given the 411 on the big old buns. But as with many things involving her looks, Nikki denies any enhancements of any kind. However, it doesn't take a super sleuth to realize that she has totally received some kind of work on her face. Side by sides show that Nikki did not have naturally shaped almond eyes when she first appeared on our screens. She may have never confirmed the surgery with her lips, but most certainly did with her eyes because they're not the right shape now. Number 5. Ariana Grande We have accepted that the former Nickelodeon star may have had some subtle procedures such as fillers or maybe even a rhinoplasty done. The jury's still out on whether or not she's had a nose job, as Ariana has never confirmed this and actually went as far to denying it on Twitter, although she does have a habit of sometimes editing her nose on Instagram, so it's kinda wishy-washy. We can't ignore the changes that we have seen in the past few years. The Santa Tell Me singer has been rumored to have had even more cosmetic procedures 
procedures towards the end of 2022, causing her to look almost unrecognizable. The redhead that we all loved on Victorious and Sam and Cat seems to be a totally different person now. Ariana's eyes are more almond shaped and she now has dimples in her cheeks when she smiles that she just never used to have. Ariana has never confirmed if she's received the surgery or not, but the face that we all knew and loved is hidden behind this new Ariana. Number 4. Kim Bassinger The 69 year old actress and former model's face has looked suspiciously smooth and wrinkle free in recent years, leaving many to believe that she's had some work done. A few years ago, a plastic surgeon named Dr. Omar Tillo weighed in on it to express his side, and he said that he thinks that she's received Botox, cat eye surgery, and dermal fillers. He claimed that if you look at previous photos, you can see apparent lines and wrinkles around Kim's eyes. These could be treated with anti-wrinkle injectables such as Botox. She also has clear lines around her mouth, which could be the result of being smoothed out with dermal fillers. Kim's skin also seems to be fresher with a more even complexion. This could be due to several factors such as laser treatments. A second expert named Reza Nizab agreed and added that he believed she might have also had a fat transfer or a facelift. This could explain the almond shaped eyes behind the massive cheeks. Back in 2012, Kim's daughter Ireland Baldwin insisted that her mother had not received any plastic surgery while calling her the most naturally beautiful woman there ever was or will be. Ladies, if you want to avoid Botox and any other skin treatment, she said, ladies, if you want to avoid Botox or other skin treatments, listen to my mom. She hasn't had one treatment done because she stayed completely out of the sun all these years. Yeah, she wrote that on Instagram. I don't think that's true. Kim herself has never actually addressed the speculation surrounding her looks, but number three, Renee Zellweger. When we first met Renee in the cult classic Empire Records, she was a baby face with bangs and brown lipstick, but nowadays she is unrecognizable. After making a name for herself starring as Bridget Jones, she continued to star in several comedies and romantic flicks alongside performers like Jim Carrey, Keanu Reeves, and Tom Cruise. In 2019, she reinvented herself appearing on the show What If on Netflix. And were shocked to see the differences between her 90s Lori and her current state. Her eyes were noticeably smaller, her cheeks were more pronounced, and according to several sources, she had received cat eye surgery a few years back to help combat the effects of aging. What it accidentally did was make it so that Renee always looked like she's quinting. While she delivered a solid performance on the show, fans were distracted by the stiff facial features of their main actor. Number 2. Catherine Zeta-Jones When she attended the premiere of Entrapment in June 1999, she had the the beginnings of crow's feet, especially when she smiled. But as the years went by, it seemed like the crow's feet vanished into thin air. By the time this past year rolled around and she made a return to the mainstream starring as Morticia Adams in the Netflix series Wednesday, she was a completely different human being. Her skin was so smooth and her eyes were smaller than they once were, looking exactly like you would picture a person with fresh cat eye surgery to look. Catherine was rumored to have received surgery after she was photographed entering a clinic in Beverly Hills. She She's never actually confirmed that she received this specific surgery, but it's pretty impossible to hide the obvious changes in the shape and condition of your face. Number 1. Jocelyn Wildenstein This New York socialite is no stranger to the world of media. Ever since the mid-1990s, she's been famous around the world for being a literal cat woman, having received so many plastic surgeries that she now resembles a cat. I don't know, she looks more like a lion to me, but lion woman doesn't have as nice of a ring to it. Her journey started with the titular cat eye surgery, but it was just the first in many steps to get that perfect face. According to her friends and family, the surgeries were not intended to give her a Barbie-like face, but rather that of a lynx, which had apparently been her pet for a while. While she wasn't famous for a long time, it was the photos that were shared following her divorce from husband Alec that got her into the mainstream. Most of the attention was drawn to her looks, and she was quickly dubbed the Catwoman by the entire world. Despite being worth millions of dollars, Jocelyn has faced financial struggles over the past few years, and at one point even being sued by American Express for owing them $70,000 in credit. Her cat eyes may be trapped behind a massive layer of plastic and silicone, but they will always be the first step taken down the rocky road. Beginning our countdown at number 10 is Pamela Anderson. The Baywatch icon started making headlines in 2018 after looking unrecognizable at the Cannes Film Festival. She will always be an icon, but people still hold on to her looks from Baywatch, so now that she looks different, people say she looks like a totally different person. 
At the festival, she ditched the heavy makeup and the hair extensions and showed off more of her natural beauty. But that just showed people how different her face looks now after having work done throughout the years. She's always been transparent about her cosmetic procedures and says that beauty does play a part in her happiness. She said, I know it sounds like a cliche, but happiness has a lot to do with beauty. Calm, peacefulness, and not constant stress are very, very important to feeling beautiful and confident. So even though she looks different than the girl in the red bathing suit running down the beach, she is still beautiful and more importantly, she is happy. Up next, number nine, we have Gene Simmons. The 71 year old rock star changed his face by going under the knife, but says he would not recommend anyone else to get plastic surgery, despite the fact. He and his wife, Shannon Tweed, had his and her facelifts together back in 2007. And even though he doesn't regret it, he wouldn't suggest it. He talked about his cosmetic procedures and said, I don't recommend anything that I've done to anyone. Just because I order something off the menu doesn't mean you should. He actually went under the knife on his reality TV TV show, Gene Simmons Family Jewels, where he tried to prove that couples who get surgery together stay together. His wife spoke about her decision to get it done with him at the time and said, I didn't want him to look younger than me. <laughs> Good news is they are still together. So maybe couples who do get plastic surgery together really do stay together. I'm not doing it though. I'd rather be single. I'd rather be freaking single. Moving on to number eight, we have Lil' Kim. For years now, media outlets have written countless articles about how plastic surgery damaged her career. She was once causing waves in the male dominated field of rap music back in the late 90s and early 2000s. But over the years, her career seemed to fade out. She received heavy criticism for the drastic change in her look, but then she opened up about why she changed her face so much. She has opened up about it and said she always felt like she wasn't pretty and she first got plastic surgery after getting facial injuries caused by an ex-boyfriend. During a physical altercation, she was left with a broken nose, black eyes, and then she went under the knife to fix her nose. But then the injuries just continued after that as she stayed in the relationship and she kept undergoing different procedures, which she covered up by saying she was having an allergic reaction and that's why her face was swollen. In recent years, she said that she cheated by using plastic surgery, saying that she didn't think she was good enough and thought that plastic surgery would make her feel better about herself. This makes me so sad because I've written other lists about her in the past about plastic surgery and stuff and I just thought she got it. I had no idea the backstory, anything like that. And it's like, man, the poor thing. In spot number seven, we have Renee Zellweger. Throughout the decades of her career, we have seen the actress transform her body and looks into the roles that she's playing, but off screen, her look changed too. Some people say her journey with plastic surgery actually cost her her career at one point in time. She took a six year hiatus and plastic surgery and the pressure she was feeling might have something to do with it. But she is happy that people talk about how different she looks now. During a more recent interview, she said, I'm glad folks think I look different. I am living a different, happy, more fulfilling life, and I am thrilled that perhaps it shows. For a while, she dodged questions about getting work done on her face, but then later admitted to altering her face and having surgery on her eyes. The reason for doing so? She told the press, it is no secret a woman's worth has historically been measured by her appearance. I'm curious, do you agree? Do you disagree? Let's keep it calm, cool, collected in the comments below, but like, let's talk about it. I think she brings up a good point. Cruising into number six, we have Barry Manilow. For years now, fans have wondered just how much plastic surgery he has gotten, but they never got a direct answer from him. According to several media outlets, he has undergone a facelift, eyelid surgery, cheek implants, a nose job, and got Botox injections. But in 2003, he made headlines for reportedly getting both an upper and lower facelift, which changed his appearance drastically. However, a month before that, he had confessed he broke his nose and would have to undergo surgery for it. And some people believe that that was just a story he told beforehand as a way to cover up the plastic surgery he was gonna get a month later. When he was being asked personally about his face and if he has had work done, he never really talks about it. He just simply says that he inherited his smooth skin from his father. So unless he talks about it openly, we may never know the exact truth. Halfway through the list at number five is Alexa Ray Joel. Billy Joel's daughter was making headlines 
after her changing look shocked everyone when she stepped out for her performance in New York City in 2018. It is always a big change seeing celebrity kids grow up because naturally they're going to look a lot different, but the 28 year old's new face was turning heads and people were quick to speculate that she has undergone the knife. She denied claims that she had worked onto her face besides the nose job, which she admitted to way back in 2010, but people weren't buying it. She posted a long caption on Instagram to comment on the rumors and said that her changing face was simply the magic of her makeup artist. She wrote, I would just like to add that all of the continuously circulating rumors that I have had extensive face work and undergone breast augmentation are simply and entirely false. She reminded her fans she only had a nose job in 2010 and stood firm on the fact that she has had no other work done. Here now at number four, we have Kylie Jenner. Now I know she will never be unrecognizable because she is Kylie Jenner and she has become known for her current look, but she has not always looked like this. Anyone who's become a fan of her in recent years would think that she's always looked this way, but have you ever looked at her before pictures next to her current ones? In recent years, people have criticized her changing look and rumors started claiming that she'd gone under the knife, but she has never admitted to that. In 2015, she told Cosmopolitan, you guys have watched me grow up since I was nine. My face is going to get different. Now I know how to do my own makeup, contour and everything. I'm not against surgery. I would never say no, but I don't desire it right now. But since I was in 2015 and she said she's not against it, people think that in recent years, she might have had some work done besides her breasts and butt, which we all know about, obviously. In our third spot is Lisa Rina, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills standout told Daily Mail that getting lip injections at 24 paved the path for her beauty brand. She has made jokes during interviews saying that her lips have had a career of their own because they started making headlines since the moment that she got them done. The feedback wasn't very positive, but she said as the years went on, people were more accepting of them. From that, she created her own lip beauty brand and sold kits which had lip liner, lip gloss, lipstick. That way people could achieve the same look, but without getting fillers. So was she before Kylie or what? Who did it first? It is not just her lips that have changed though. When seeing before pictures of her, you would think it is a totally different person. Media outlets often say she has gone overboard with her appearance after living her life as one of the real housewives, but she has always remained confident despite the rumors and criticism. Taking over spot number two is Melanie Griffith. It's really no surprise that her look has changed over the years since she's been in the spotlight for so long now. But she has always been open about her decisions to get plastic surgery despite facing a lot of criticism for it. When she first got the work done, she said she didn't realize just how drastic the changes were until people started pointing it out, asking her what happened to her face. She revealed that it got so bad to a point that she went to a different doctor and started dissolving some of the previous stuff that her other doctor had put in. But that was back in 2017. In 2020, more rumors sparked up again, claiming that she had even more work done in recent months, altering her appearance even more. No confirmation has been given on the recent plastic surgery, but it is no secret that changes were made and she admitted to them in the past. Winning our number one place is Amanda Lepore. The trans singer and model gained fame for her changing appearance and was given the title of the most expensive body on earth. She is famously known for her numerous plastic surgeries and the fact that she is a totally new person now. She did a tell all about her transition in her book called Doll Parts and explained that she started her transition at just 15 years old when she started taking hormones. So for her, she doesn't want to be recognized as who she was before all of the surgery. So what does the most expensive body on earth have done? She confessed to eye surgery to make her eyes bigger and more doll-like, a breast augmentation, a forehead lift, butt implants, lip injections, and having her bottom ribs broken so she could achieve a smaller waist. It has been reported that the total cost of all of her cosmetic surgeries is well over a million dollars, but she does not know the exact amount. So technically she might not have the most expensive, but 
She still holds the title. Number 10, Zac Efron. The high school musical star really shocked fans with how different he looked in 2021 when a video surfaced online of his face looking extremely altered. When Zac appeared on camera for a virtual Earth Day event, everyone was totally distracted by his new appearance. Not only did he no longer have his iconic baby face look, but some people suggested that he had an altered jawline and enhanced lips and suspected that he'd had, at the very least, some Botox done. It's true that he looked a little bit puffy or possibly swollen, but of course, camera angles, makeup, and poor lighting also could have contributed to the drastically different appearance. When the video started making the rounds on social media, popular TikTok surgeon Dr. Yun suggested that Zach might have gotten oral surgery, which would explain his swollen jaw, which would happen if your wisdom teeth were taken out or you had some kind of other intensive dental surgery. But fans were not happy about the doctor's comments and accused him of trying to capitalize on Zach's popularity to gain attention. Although he does look different right now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. The actor went on both The Ellen Show and Jimmy Kimmel Live recently and just looked a whole lot more mature. In fact, he seemed to have really grown into his features in the best way possible. Number 9, Khloe Kardashian. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star is known for being the funniest and most laid back of all the sisters. But over the years, fans have seen such a drastic change in her appearance that it can only be put down to excessive plastic surgery. And while the reality star isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to go under the knife. Quote, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she's had her third face transplant, but I've only had one nose job and everyone gets so upset. Like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. She also revealed that she has done injections, but not really Botox because when she tried it, her face responded horribly, but all the surgery was probably because of something deeper. In fact, later in the episode, Chloe explained how she experienced body image insecurity Security when doing photo shoots with her sisters, saying they would receive racks and racks of clothes and I was told by so many different stylists I was given about two or three pieces of clothing, but not to worry because I would be in the background anyway. Which is pretty unfortunate because being treated like that would upset just about anybody. Number 8, Rebel Wilson. The Australian actress has been in comedy since the early 2000s, but her career really took off a decade later in movies like What to Expect When You're Expecting, Struck by Lightning and of course, Pitch perfect. She's always been a huge health and body positive advocate and has frequently opened up about her health journey. But the reason Rebel Wilson looks so drastically different in 2022 is that she has actually been working on her health and fitness since late 2019 and she has seen massive results. In a candid interview with the BBC, she talked about the differences in how she's being treated now. Quote, sometimes being bigger, people don't necessarily look twice at you. Now that I'm in good shape, people offer to carry my groceries to the car and hold doors open for you. And you think, is this what other people experience all the time? So even though Rebel seems to be a lot happier now, she's also pointed out something that's really worth discussing. Her health journey has been a very public one, so it's great that the actress has decided not to hold back when talking about all the challenges that she's faced throughout. And she's certainly become an inspiration for others to make positive changes to their health. Number 7, Miley Cyrus. The 29-year-old singer and actress has lived so many lives already. She's been a Disney star, a country singer, then she moved to R&B for a while and back into pop. Miley has always been an eccentric performer. I mean, who can forget twerking against Robin Thicke at the MTV VMAs in 2013? But her whole style and aesthetic did a complete 180 somewhere around 2020 when she started embracing all things rock and roll. These days, she looks completely unrecognizable with a platinum blonde mullet metallic blue smoky eyeshadow, and a blue and white striped dress. She actually looks like an 80s rock star. The aesthetic change appears to be part of her newest musical era for her newest rock album, Plastic Hearts. It's still up for debate whether Miley is going for a more grunge or glam rock, but it's clear that she's chosen a whole nother genre for herself when it comes to not only style but music. After hearing her cover of Blondie's Heart of Glass, which was released as a single in late September, it became clear to so many that her voice is really suited to rock and roll. Alongside her cover of Zombie by the Cranberries and her own song Midnight Sky, it seems like she's really grown into her voice and found the perfect look for the genre. Number 6, Adele. Ever since her music blew up in the early 2010s, the powerhouse singer has released hit after hit. Her albums 21, 25, and 30 became instant successes, with all three topping number one on nearly every worldwide music chart. But fans were really shocked in 2020 when Adele made a post on social media that showed her completely transformed look. In 
fact, she joked about the change in her opening monologue for SNL, saying, I know I look really, really different since you last saw me, but actually because of all the COVID restrictions, I had to travel light and I could only bring half of me. And this is the half I chose. The 34 year old looks extremely happy these days. And she's recently opened up about the healthy lifestyle changes she made that helped her lose a hundred pounds in two years. But she knows that plenty of negative comments have surfaced about her new look. And she told British Vogue, my body has been objectified my entire career. It's not just now. I understand why it's a shock. I understand why some women especially were hurt. Visually, I represent a lot of women, but I'm still the same person. So it's clear that Adele is very much herself just with a newfound confidence. Number five, Kesha. The singer shocked fans when she debuted her glamorous and sophisticated new look at the Studio 666 premiere in Hollywood. The 34 year old was truly unrecognizable with a dark, short bob and a plain black dress in a major style transformation from her party girl days. Kesha wore a plunging, lace up, short, tight black leather dress that accentuated both her chest and her legs. Her brunette hair was slicked back with natural looking makeup. The Grammy Award winner has been known to drastically alter her appearance through the years, but her new almost bare face look was a complete flip from her usual bright eccentric style with heavy makeup and her signature long wavy blonde hair. So making the change from blonde to brunette and chopping her hair into a chin bob length made all the difference in the world. But aside from desperately waiting for Kesha to release new music, fans are also longing for the conclusion of her lengthy legal battle with her former producer Dr. Luke, which has been ongoing since 2014. The defamation lawsuit against her seems like it's gonna go on forever at this stage, and it has really kept her career in a kind of limbo. But it's clear that she's already planning some kind of a comeback with her new style. Number four, Linda Evangelista. The Canadian fashion model was undoubtedly one of the top supermodels from the 1990s and is regarded as one of the most accomplished and influential models of all time. In fact, she's been featured on over 700 magazine covers, but Linda hasn't really been seen in public very much in the last five years or so, and fans recently found out why. In September last year, she took to Instagram and revealed that she had undergone cool sculpting treatment to her face, which she says left her unrecognizable. As it allegedly caused fat cells in her face to multiply. Quote, to my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers' careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured. She went on to say that the procedure actually did the opposite of what it was promised. In fact, what happened to her was a rare but serious side effect of cool sculpting. And the model said the treatment not only destroyed her livelihood, but sent her into a cycle of deep depression, profound sadness, and the lowest depths of self-loathing, which is extremely sad when you consider just how much it would have affected her self-esteem. Number three, Iggy Azalea. The Australian rapper made her US debut in 2014 with the release of her first album, The New Classic, which debuted at number one on the Billboard rap chart. From her collaborations with some of our favorite pop princesses to her gorgeous curves, Iggy Azalea has consistently commanded headlines all over the globe. But recently, a lot of it has been plastic surgery rumors, considering how much her appearance has changed over the years. Confirming their suspicions, the Aussie hit maker admitted that she has had rhinoplasty. She said, I'm not denying it. Denying it is lame. I don't think you should be ashamed if you've made a change to yourself, which is why I've spoken about the changes I've made, like with my breasts. Iggy was always pretty straightforward about her decision to have surgery, saying, your perception of yourself can change a lot over time. So I think it's important to wait and make sure it's the right choice. Plastic surgery is an emotional journey. It's no easy feat to live with your flaws and accept yourself. And it's no easy feat to change yourself. Either way you look at it, it's a tough journey which is a great message to get out there considering that there's still a lot of stigma behind just admitting to having done plastic surgery in the first place. Number two, Sharon Osbourne. The former The Talk panelist is no stranger to plastic surgery and it really seemed to work with her over the years considering her appearance was never altered too drastically. But all that changed in late 2021 when she got a facelift that in her own words ended up making her look like a cyclops. Quote, I had a full facelift done in October and I looked like one of those effing mummies that they wrap with bands Bandages. She told the Sunday Times that the whole thing hurt like hell. But what was even worse is that all the pain never really paid off for her. Sharon said that after the more than five hour surgery, she was left looking horrendous. And she even told the surgeon, quote, you've got to be effing joking. One eye was different to the other. I looked like an effing cyclops. All I need is a hunchback. It sounds funny, but it would have been a nightmare for her. Even her husband, Ozzy Osbourne, was totally against the results. Fortunately, she was able to undergo reconstructive work and she's now a 
a lot more satisfied with her appearance. And coming in at number one, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Of all the famous twins in Hollywood, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen are probably the most mysterious. The former child stars announced an abrupt and permanent retirement from acting more than 15 years ago, and ever since then they've kept a low profile. But the twins are still hard at work on their fashion line and other business endeavors. But when photos surfaced over the years of Mary Kate looking drastically different from Ashley, fans began speculating that one or both sisters may have had plastic surgery. People were pretty rude when it came to targeting the appearance of both of them, with some outlets reporting that Ashley underwent a botched facelift and that Mary Kate looked a lot older. In fact, one plastic surgeon who spoke to Life and Style magazine insisted that the changes could have come from other factors, such as nicotine products or lifestyle changes. The sisters looked surprisingly similar when they were younger, which caused most people to assume that they were identical, but they're actually fraternal twins, which might help explain their physical differences now. The girls did have a brief chance to get back on the screens recently in the revival of their original show, Fuller House, but they just weren't interested in participating, which seemed to disappoint a lot of fans. But it only served to make them more mysterious as they continue to live ever so private lives. First off, we have Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan, who's known for her sweet, innocent look, unveils a dramatically different look in recent years. Ryan appeared in various rom-coms and series in the 80s and 90s that matched her bubbly personality. It was a time that demonstrated her external and internal beauty. However, female heroine roles eluded the actress in recent years. She decided to go for the classic Real Housewives of Beverly Hills look and change the natural grace that she had during her prime. Her new appearance sparked debates among fans and the general audience about whether she got work done. The most obvious thing Meg Ryan got done is cheek filler or fat transfer to her cheeks, doctors say. When she smiles, the filler seems to move up, making her eyes look smaller, one doctor said. Surgeons believe Meg may have had too much Botox on her forehead, which dropped to the brows during time. As a result, her eyes looking smaller. Although she still looks absolutely beautiful, it is safe to say everybody misses her cute innocence from the 80s and 90s. Next up, we have Mickey Rourke. This American actor first appeared in Body Heat in 1981 before showing his acting prowess in his preceding films. It's nothing new to compare Rourke's work with the likes of James Dean, even Robert De Niro. His re-emergence in the 2000s with prominent roles Sin City 2005 and The Wrestler in 2008 solidified his status in Hollywood. Plus, he was once known as one of the film industry's most handsome stars. Unfortunately, plastic surgery made his career dwindle. With his bad boy persona in 80s cinema, a botched plastic surgery changed the public's perception of him. The general audience argues that he had cheek and maybe chin implants. He lost his original tough guy packaging after the surgeries. In 2009, Rourke admitted that his looks did change because of botched plastic surgery. He said most of it was done to mend his boxing injuries. However, he went to the wrong guy to put his face back together, resulting in an extremely changed changed look. Next up, we have Madonna. At the 2023 Grammys, Madonna revealed her new look, and fans were, let's just say, confused. Some calling her a, quote, alien trying to blend in as a human, and others blatantly calling her, quote, hideous. Two days after the Grammys, Madonna slammed people who chose to focus on her looks instead of the speech she gave before the historic performance she introduced. Sam Smith and Kim Petras were the stars that she was introducing that night. Instead of focusing on what I said in my speech, which was about giving thanks for the fearlessness of artists like Sam and Kim, many people chose to only talk about close-up photos of me taken with a long lens camera by a press photographer that would distort anybody's face, she captioned an Instagram video on February 7th. The pop icon went on to say that she is once again caught in the glare of ageism and misogyny that permeates the world we live in. Madonna says this world does not quote celebrate women past the age of 45 and will punish her if she continues to be strong-willed, hardworking, and adventurous. I have never apologized for any of the creative choices I've made, nor the way that I look or dress, and I'm not going to start today, the seven-time Grammy winner continued. I have been degraded by the media since the beginning of my career, but I understand that this is all a test, and I'm happy to do the trailblazing so that all the women behind me can have an easier time in the years to come. In the words of Beyonce, you won't break my soul. 
Next up, we have Miss Ariana Grande. Now, this one is not as noticeable as the other celebs we talked about, but fans are still wondering what happened to her face. YouTube videos went viral in 2023 and 2022 titled, quote, what happened to Ariana's face and Ariana's eyes are weird. Here's what we know about Ariana Grande's alleged plastic surgery. One, a nose job. Ariana Grande allegedly had a rhinoplasty procedure to reduce her nose size and shape it more naturally. This is one of the most common types of rhinoplasty procedures performed on celebrities because it gives them an instantly slimmer face, which makes them appear younger than their actual age. Number two, surgeons think she's had a brow lift. According to sources close to Ariana Grande, it is true that she has undergone a brow lift surgery. That is, in order to eliminate the sagging skin under her eyes and make her look more youthful, it can do that by helping you look less tired or stressed out, while also removing that angry look from your face. Number three, surgeons think that she has had a facelift in recent years. Another common procedure that many stars go through is facial rejuvenation with fillers such as Botox injections. It helps prevent wrinkles from forming around their eyes or mouth area over time due to their age. Ariana even got emotional in a video posted on Vogue's YouTube channel recently where she actually admits she no longer continues the Botox treatment and she felt like she was quote, hiding herself under all those cosmetic procedures. Next up, we have the late Joan Rivers. In 2010, at 23 years old, Rivers revealed that she underwent 10 cosmetic procedures in one day, including a chin reduction, brow lift, and Botox injections. This beloved American comedian, host, and actress paved her way into stardom with her natural beauty. However, it comes as no surprise when plastic surgery enters the equation of a celebrity's life. She has had multiple procedures like facelifts, neck lifts, to name a few. In an interview with her husband, Spencer Pratt, she said that she was too young to make life-changing decisions. She said she was under so much pressure from what she saw on the internet and made her do these surgeries. But Joan Rivers said that everybody should take plastic surgery seriously. For her, the recovery was devastating. Her heart even stopped for a bit, which made her more transparent about all the work that she has gotten done. Next up, we have Jocelyn Wildenstein, a Swiss socialite formerly married to billionaire Alec Wildenstein. When in 1999, Alec filed for divorce, she reportedly spent $4 million on various surgeries. She denies having excessive plastic surgery, citing it's just her Swiss heritage, but admitted to one surgery to make her eyes more cat-like. According to her ex, Alec Wildenstein, she was thinking that she could fix her face like a piece of furniture. Skin does not work that way, he says. Wildenstein claims that she has not had any income at all for the last eight years after her ex-husband's former family cut her off from her $100 million annual divorce settlement payments. The Swiss-born socialite decided to make a two-part docuseries and potential TV show produced by the team behind the hit, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, because all her money's gone. I have a huge problem with my settlement, she told The Telegraph at the luxurious Mayborn Hotel in LA. Since eight years, they have completely cut me off, she says. Wildenstein, now 82, rose to fame in the 1990s during her high-profile divorce from her art-dealing husband, Alec Wildenstein from which she received a whopping $2.5 billion in the settlement and $100 million each year afterwards. Next up, we have Miss Donatella Versace. Her designs for Versace may spark a thousand copycats, but there's no danger of women following suit when it comes to her new face. 20 years ago, the fashion guru had naturally full lips and very smooth skin, but as she stepped out 10 years ago in 2014, for the first time since major surgeries, her face was striking for all the wrong reasons. Users on Reddit have shared their opinions, and some of these comments are not the nicest, let's just say. Why is her face slick like Vaseline? She looks like a Muppet. And why does she look extraterrestrial? Are some of the top comments on the thread. Next up, we have Zac Efron. Considering that Zac Efron has literally grown up on screen, his fans are pretty familiar with his famous good looks. From his wholesome start as a teen star in High School Musical, through his recent dramatic turn in The Iron Claw, audiences have seen him through a variety of stages. When the heartthrob started looking noticeably different in recent years, they were understandably curious. 
Thankfully, there's no speculation necessary. Efron himself has been fairly candid about what has led to the transformation in his appearance. Zac Efron's famous face does look a bit different nowadays. The former Disney star revealed that he did have to undergo some medical procedures, but not for the cosmetic reasons some people might assume. In a 2022 interview with Men's Health, the actor revealed that his enlarged jawline was actually due to an old injury. While running in socks in his home in 2013, Efron slipped and smashed his chin against the granite corner of a fountain. The injury was so severe he lost consciousness, and when he woke up, his chin chin bone was hanging off his face. As for how the 2013 injury impacted his appearance so many years later, he explained to Men's Health that it related to his masseter muscles overcompensating for the injured muscles in his face, combined with his temporary failure to continue physical therapy. Our next celebrity is Miss Dolly Parton. Dolly is a country music legend known for hits like I Will Always Love You and 9 to 5, but she's equally known for her plastic assets as well. One of the first times she admitted to getting work done was in 1977 in an interview with Barbara Walters. But honestly, Dolly, we love you and you look great. Our final celebrity today is Kylie Jenner. Since her initial debut on reality television, Kylie Jenner has undergone a significant, very dramatic shift from her lips to even her skin tone. Her latest new image, however, showcases a larger butt and a smaller waist. Most likely, a Brazilian butt lift or buttock implants were used to achieve the new look. To create a lower waist and a bumpier back, the Brazilian butt lift combines severe body sculpting with liposuction. For reference, a BBL employs liposuction to remove fat from other parts of the body, in other words, moving things around. Often the fat on the stomach or thighs is sucked out and injected into the buttocks. In a recent episode of the family show The Kardashians, Kylie said she would reverse the decision to get plastic surgery if she could. I wish I never got it done to begin with, she told her BFF. I recommend anyone thinking about it to wait after having children. She went on to say that her daughter Stormy, 5 years old, helped her keep things in perspective. Obviously I have a daughter too. I'd be heartbroken if she wanted to get her body done at 19, like Kylie did. She's the most beautiful thing ever. First off, we have Joan Van Ark. Once a leading face of primetime soaps, Joan Van Ark underwent several adjustments, including rhinoplasty and cheek augmentation that resulted in disastrous results. The Dallas and Knott's Landing star, now 76, has gone through several surgeries and procedures that removed all gracefulness of her aging. Van Ark has received everything from Botox, lip fillers, lip augmentation, eyelid reconstruction. Users on Reddit were shocked by her new appearance. One user saying, quote, white people and various members of the Jackson family have got to stop this madness. And the plastic surgery is horrible and the makeup is not helping her at all, another user says. Why does it look so metallic? Poor woman. Next up, we have Bobby Norris. Bobby Norris is an English television actor known for his appearances on The Only Way is Essex. Despite rumors of a facelift and chin reduction, the 35-year-old Norris has actually had minimal work done. But the procedure that he has done is just so bizarre that it took the world by surprise. The reality star underwent a beard transplant, which has made his cheeks noticeably overfilled and puffy. This cosmetic change rendered him unrecognizable and made a negative impact on his career. Recently, Bobby made news when he was in a serious motorcycle accident last November. He is thought to have suffered nasty head injuries after the accident when he landed on his head and was treated by emergency services who rushed to the scene. A source told The Sun, quote, Bobby was crossing the road when a motorbike came out of nowhere. He was sent flying up in the air and landed on his head after being driven straight into at speed. It was a shocking sight for those who were close by when it happened. Police arrived at the scene, as did a paramedic on a bike, who then called for an ambulance. He was quickly taken to a UCLH hospital for tests. Our next celebrity is Courtney Cox. American actress, producer, and director Courtney Cox is notoriously recognized by the excessive and unfortunately disastrous procedures that she has done to her face. Well known for her role in the hit TV show Friends, the now 57-year-old actress has undergone 
on a facelift and several filler injections around the cheeks, lips, and eyes. Courtney has since expressed her regret for the treatments. She had all her filler dissolved in 2017 since she felt she did not look like herself and has admitted that she has quote messed up when it came to using fillers. The Friends star opened up in the Gloss Angeles podcast saying it was quote a domino effect that she hadn't realized she looked a little off. You look in the mirror and go, oh, that looks good, she says. You don't realize what it looks like to be the outside person. Next up, we have Jennifer Grey. Grey went under the knife and had a nose job after shooting to fame in Dirty Dancing, but she later admitted that it changed her look a bit too much when it came to her acting career. The Mirror quoted her as saying in 2012, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. It was the nose job from hell. I'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. The two surgeries, which Grey refers to as Schnozageddon, took place after Grey starred as Baby Houseman opposite Patrick Swayze in the 1987 smash hit Dirty Dancing. After Dirty Dancing, I was America's sweetheart, she says, which she think, which you would think would be the key to unlocking all my hopes and dreams. But it didn't go down that way, she says in her new memoir. Gray recalls that after Dirty Dancing, there was still not a surplus of parts for actresses who looked like me. She was apparently told that her nose was a quote, problem, with one plastic surgeon wondering after watching Dirty Dancing why she hadn't had a nose job before. My so-called problem wasn't really a problem for me, she says, but since it seemed to be a problem for other people and it didn't appear to be going away anytime soon, by default it became my problem. She writes, it was as plain as the nose on my face. After consulting her mother and three plastic surgeons, Gray underwent two rhinoplasty surgeries to quote fine tune her nose. A second surgery was meant to correct an irregularity caused by the first surgery, but left her nose truncated and dwarfed rendering Gray practically unrecognizable to people that she had known for years. Next up we have Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley, American businesswoman and former wife of course of Elvis, has received various procedures since being married to the late king of rock and roll. At 75, she had admitted to getting botched silicone cheek injections by a phony doctor. She also received repeated laser and Botox treatments, resulting in the waxy appearance of her new face. Priscilla has been in the headlines recently as her story is now being told on screen in the new film Priscilla, starring Jacob Elordi as Elvis. The film shows us the cracks in Elvis's Prince Charming veneer, the way he lavishes Priscilla with a and then suddenly withholds it. Life at Graceland was lonely for her in those first years. Priscilla admitted to Closer Weekly in 2017. Elvis's controlling manager, Colonel Tom Parker, didn't want it known that his valuable client Elvis had a steady girlfriend for fear that fans would give up their own hopes of being with Elvis and would stop buying records. And there weren't even any pictures of the pair allowed around the house. Parker was, quote, kind to her, Priscilla added, but he just didn't want fans to know that I was in the picture. And yet sometimes Elvis picked her up from school in a limo and flew her out to LA when he was making movies. It was a lifestyle so dangerous, Priscilla told People in 1978, that I'm just thankful I've come out sane. Next up, we have Heidi Montag. Back in 2010, the reality star traveled from California to her parents' home in Colorado to undergo an extensive list of cosmetic procedures. Heidi has had some really, really drastic surgery done in famous underwent 10 procedures in one single day. It sounds crazy when you think about how difficult that would be to recover from, considering it was all done at the same exact time. Heidi had her surgery day in late 2009, which included breast implants, making her an F cup, a brow lift, a nose job, lipo on her stomach and thighs, and a butt augmentation. The drastic photos of her new appearance hit the headlines in March of 2010, and the world was more than a little shocked. But but three years later, Heidi admitted to Us Magazine she actually had really big regrets and health problems as a result. Quote, I just didn't realize what I was really signing up for. It just sounds so minor when you have a surgeon describing so much of it to you. She also said that at the time, she wasn't fully aware of the recovery time and the mental strain that would put on her. And she claims her surgeon left this out on purpose. She went on to have some of the work reversed, but mostly maintained her current look. Our next celebrity is Tara Reid. The American Pie star was one of Hollywood's it girls in the late 
1990s and early 2000s. But while she was at the pinnacle of success in her career, she was also going through various issues stemming from botched plastic surgery. And she ended up missing out on a whole bunch of roles because of it. Tara claimed that in 2004, breast implants and liposuction surgeries left her with disfigurements that damaged her career. She told Us Weekly, quote, my stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. Tara said that after the procedure, she knew something was wrong when it came to her breast implants, but she was six months post-op when she realized that it had been terribly botched. Quote, the actual center part where the areola is, instead of being a circle, it turned out to be a large square. It was horrifying. She also went through an infamous wardrobe malfunction at Diddy's 35th birthday party party in 2004, which resulted in her body going viral, which left her devastated. Tara said she cried and begged photographers not to release the photos because the last thing she wanted to happen was to have the whole world see it. Next we have Khloe Kardashian. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star is known for being the funniest and most laid back of all her sisters, but over the years, fans have seen a drastic change in her appearance that can only be put down to plastic surgery. While she is isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to go under the knife. Quote, for me, everybody says, oh my gosh, she's had her third face transplant, but I've had one nose job and everyone gets so upset. Like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. She also revealed that she has done injections, but not really Botox because when she tried it, her face responded horribly to it. But all the surgery was probably because of something deeper. In fact, later in an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe explained how she experienced body image insecurity when doing photo shoots with her sisters, saying they would receive racks and racks of clothes, and I was told by so many different stylists I was given about two or three pieces of clothing. But not to worry, because I would be in the background anyway, which is pretty unfortunate, because being treated like that would honestly upset anybody. Our final two celebs are combined. They are the Olsen twins. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen were child stars in the 90s, appearing on the hit show Full House. But after their success as child stars, they stepped away from Hollywood and began experimenting with drinking and substance use. Also, plastic surgery. They used to be cute. Now they look like moms that smoke a lot, one Reddit user said. Another saying, maybe it's just me, but they look like those Easter Island giant head statues. Number 10, Kendall Jenner. Now there have been rumors about the Kardashian crew getting cosmetic surgery since the moment that they first appeared on screen. Each and every member of this family has been accused of having either a nose job or cheek fillers, but Kendall has one noticeable difference that stands out from the rest of her family. In Side by Sides, Kendall's eyes are actually larger than they once were, as well as more almond shaped. Several doctors have chimed in online and claimed that there's no way she could achieve this look just by using makeup, unless, you know, there's some special magical substance that yanks your face face back, which probably exists, but it's suspicious, which is basically what a ponytail facelift is, so it's really the only real explanation. Number 9, Selena Gomez. The former Wizards of Waverly Place star has been dodging surgery rumors left and right for a very long time. Fans have noticed her face changing over the years, side by sides from her Disney days till now show drastic changes in her facial features. Not only does she clearly have some kind of cheek fillers, but her eyes are a lot more cat-like than the original form. Selena has admitted to using skin care products in the past designated to enhance features without the need of invasive surgeries. However, no foundation on this earth can give Selena the features that she currently has. It comes as no surprise to learn that Selena is actually a spokesperson for several beauty and cosmetic brands and is adamantly denied that she has received any major surgeries over the years. She's been shutting down rumors left and right for a very long time, even deleting photos from her Instagram because they received such massive slews of negative comments. Now, while it's never been confirmed if she's actually received any kind of work, just watching her on screen is enough to prove that the young Alex Russo that a lot of people grew up with has vanished into thin air. Number eight, Bella Hadid. Bella is actually one of the main reasons that this surgery is becoming so popular. When you compare photos of Bella 10 years ago to the ones that are taken this year, it is night 
and day. Not only have her cheeks noticeably shrunken and become more toned, but her eyes are a lot more almond shaped, and Bella was one of the first people to openly admit to receiving this treatment as a way to further enhance her already obvious beauty. Bella has been drenched in plastic surgery rumors for a long time, and in 2018 she clapped back at her so-called haters, telling them that she was horrified of what plastic surgery could do to her face. While this ponytail surgery is not the most extreme surgery there is, it's still an invasive one and it's one of the more sensitive areas of your face to take care of, but eh, that's okay as long as nothing gets, you know, ejected into your eyeballs, right? Everything's fine. Number seven, Nicki Minaj. When it comes to Nicki Minaj and plastic surgery, she only has one response. What's good, Miley? No, she denies it. Rumors have been flying around since the moment she first appeared on our screens and stages, and over the years, fans claim to have inside information that Nicki has received cheek implants, both on her face and on her backside, with one of her closest friends turning on her in 2013 and claiming that she was given the 411 on the big old buns. But as with many things involved with her looks, Nicki denies any enhancements of any kind. However, it doesn't take a super sleuth to realize that she has totally received some kind of work, right? Whether it's plastic surgery or not, she just looks different. Side by sides show that Nikki didn't have these naturally almond eyes like she has now when she first appeared on our screens. She may have never confirmed the surgery with her lips, but most certainly did with her face because it looks different. Number six, Ariana Grande. We have accepted that the former Nickelodeon star may have had some subtle procedures such as fillers, maybe some rhinoplasty. The jury's still out on whether she had a nose job as Ariana has never confirmed this and actually went as far as denying it on Twitter. Although she does have a habit of sometimes editing her nose on Instagram, so who knows? We can't ignore the changes that we've seen this year. The singer has been rumored to have even more cosmetic surgeries towards the end of this year, causing her to look unrecognized Recognizable. The redhead that we loved on Victorious and Sam and Cat seems like a totally different person. Ariana's eyes are more almond shaped, she has dimples in her cheeks when she smiles, and she never used to have. Ariana has never confirmed if she's received surgery or not, but the face that we know and love is hidden behind a new Ariana. Number five, Kim Bassinger. Kim Bassinger is a former model whose face has looked suspiciously smooth and wrinkled free in recent years, leaving many to believe that she has had some kind of work done. A few years ago, a plastic surgeon named Dr. Omar Tillo weighed in on it to express, and he said that he thinks that she's received Botox, cat eye surgery, and dermal fillers. He claims that if you look at previous photos, you can see apparent lines and wrinkles around Kim's eyes, and these could be treated with anti-wrinkle injectables like Botox. She has also clear lines around her mouth area, which could be the result of being smoothed out with dermal fillers. Kim's skin is also much fresher and has more of a complexion. This could be due to several factors like laser treatments. A second expert named Reza Nazab agreed and added that he believed that she might have also had a fat transfer or a facelift. This could explain the almond shaped eyes behind the massive cheeks. Back in 2012, Kim's daughter, Ireland Baldwin, insisted that her mother had not received any plastic surgery while calling her the most naturally beautiful woman that there ever was or will be. Ladies, if you want to avoid any Botox, any other skin treatments, just listen to Ireland's mom. She hasn't had one treatment done because she stayed completely out of the sun all those years. She wrote it on an Instagram post. Kim herself has never addressed speculation surrounding her looks. Number four, Catherine Zeta-Jones. When she attended the premiere of Entrapment in June 1999, she had the beginnings of crow's feet, especially when she smiled. But as the years went by, it seemed like those crow's feet vanished into thin air. And by the time this past year rolled around, she made a return to the mainstream, starring as Morticia Adams in the Netflix series Wednesday. She was a completely different human being, according to fans. Her skin was so smooth and her eyes were smaller than they once were, looking exactly like you would picture a person with fresh cat eye surgery to look like. Catherine was rumored to have received surgery after she was photographed entering a clinic in Beverly Hills, and she never confirmed that she received this specific surgery, but it's impossible to hide the obvious changes in the shape and face conditions. Number three, Lil' Kim. For the past 25 years, she's been pushing the boundaries as a female rapper and breaking records. Lil' Kim's also considered to have pioneered mainstream love-positive feminism in hip-hop and has carved a path for many contemporary artists like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and Cash Doll. In addition to her unique sound and lyrical matters, she's known for her breathtaking flamboyant fashion style and advocacy work for various causes. However, the American rapper served as an unforgettable MTV moment that made heads turn a few years ago. It's tough to deny her natural presence and beauty after her lip surgery and a series of facial surgeries she became unrecognizable to fans. Literally, people at her concerts were like, hey, who's that? 
This speaks volumes, especially in front of the people who adore you the most. It also means that Little Kim had too much work done. Staying relevant in the scene can be challenging as more female rappers rise to the fame. Unfortunately, Little Kim's attempts to fix her perceived natural flaws took her commanding presence and gorgeous looks away. Number two, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay got her big break when Disney casted her to play two roles in the classic family comedy, The Parent Trap. She played twin sisters, Hallie Parker and Annie James, who randomly meet at a summer camp and discover their parents split them up when they were babies. The twins then hatch a plot to get mom and dad back together, and it is a great movie. I love it so much. Her career only seemed to rise from there, starring in cult classics like Freaky Friday with Jamie Lee Curtis and Mean Girls as, you know, the main character, Katty Heron. Unfortunately, her character took a step in the wrong direction when she was arrested in 2007 for driving under the influence of a controlled substance, for which she served 84 minutes in jail. Yes, minutes. Some people spend years in jail, but Lindsay got a little warning because she's Lindsay Lohan. Until 2022, her career was at an abrupt standstill, and she decided to take that time to make some cosmetic adjustments. She got some work done to herself, and the little Lindsay that we grew up with is now trapped behind a thin layer of silicone. Number one, Cardi B. Cardi B has never been coy about the plastic surgery procedures that she's had done. During an Instagram Live in December 2022, she talked about a procedure she had done to her butt years ago, and it gave her followers a word of advice while doing so. Following the birth of her son, Wave, in 2021, Cardi B said that people thought she had work done when in reality she had gotten surgery in August to have 95% of her bipolymer bum bum injections removed. She went on to say that you should do your research and listen to doctors and not just with, you know, injections, but also anything involving your rear and all the other plastic surgeries and cosmetic surgeries as well. Like really just double check your sources, people. In 2019, the rapper got candid about having to cancel and postpone shows because of the need to recover from liposuction. And on Twitter, she talked about having to miss work for two weeks because of it. That same year, Cardi also told Entertainment Tonight that she had a chest lift after giving birth to her daughter, Culture, and was unhappy with needing to take time off. So Cardi's biggest thing is not that the procedures are bad themselves, but with the recovery time that it seems to take. Well, fear no more, Instalift is probably on its way, which is, I don't know, maybe that's a thing. I'm not a scientist. At number 10, Jennifer Grey. Imagine investing in plastic surgery to look better, just just to watch your career tank after getting whatever procedure done. Well, that's what happened with actress Jennifer Grey, as getting a nose job was the worst mistake of her career and pretty much ended it. Jennifer Grey became super well known after her role in Dirty Dancing, but after her rhinoplasty, things went south for the actress's career. Her appearance wasn't necessarily botched from the surgery itself, as everything went according to plan, but maybe things went a little too well. After getting the surgery, her nose looked very different to how it looked before, and it completely changed her face. As a result, Jennifer found herself struggling to book roles and getting less and less work. Everyone knew her for her face, but since it had changed, became almost unrecognizable, and that wasn't good for her career. When speaking out about her procedure, she called it the quote, nose job from hell, because it pretty much botched her career. She thought that altering her nose would make things better for her, because she would have had what she thought was a better appearance, but instead, things just got worse. At number nine, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox is best known for her iconic role as Monica Geller on Friends. Though she had the looks when on the beloved sitcom, things changed after she got plastic surgery. Courtney became the unfortunate victim of botched Botox, and since then the actress has sworn off any kind of cosmetic procedures. Courtney has said in interviews that some doctors started suggesting that she get fillers here and there, and after one too many posts, she was left looking more plastic than human and totally botched. Courtney was led down a dark path of cosmetic alterations to make herself look more youthful, but in the end, the actress said that all these procedures just led her to feeling more and more unhappy with her appearance. It was a vicious cycle for her. The fillers she got became so intense that Courtney eventually said enough is enough and got all the fillers in her face dissolved. Because she was left looking so unlike herself after getting botched, Courtney says that she now prefers to be all natural, embracing her natural beauty. Before we carry on talking about actors and their unfortunate plastic surgery mishaps, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and also consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Tara Reid. Hollywood's It Girl Tara Reid was making it big in the industry at the height of her career. That is, until she got a botched plastic surgery that derailed her career completely. In 2004, Tara wanted to get some work done to her body and she received a few surgeries. She got breast implants and underwent a procedure called a liposculpin. 
amazing. But this was where things went horribly wrong. After these procedures, she was left disfigured, describing some of the aftermath, saying, quote, my stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work, end quote. Things got even worse for her public image after a wardrobe malfunction at Diddy's 35th birthday party in 2004 exposed her botched body to the world. A lot of people online ended up body shaming the actress, making the situation so much harder for her to deal with at the time. Even though she was able to correct the mistakes done to her appearance two years later, the damage was already done to her public image and career, showing us that not only was her body botched, but her career was as well. At number seven, Dana Delaney. There are a growing number of people out there getting Botox. A lot of young adults are starting to get fillers even though they don't really need to because it's seen as the new trend. Getting injectables seems to be the newest trend, probably because it's one of the least invasive plastic surgery procedures you can receive. But just because it's not a serious surgery doesn't mean there's no risk, and Desperate Housewives actress Dana Delaney can attest to that. Dana opened up about one of the worst procedures she received and one of people's biggest nightmares, that being Dr. Error. In 2003, Dana decided to go in to receive some Botox injections after her dermatologist convinced her to try it out. When she went in for the procedure, things went horribly wrong after the doctor performing the procedure injected the needle into the wrong place in her forehead and actually ended up causing quite a lot of damage. When he injected it into her forehead, the needle ended up striking a nerve. This then created a huge hematoma in her forehead and actually ended up killing the nerve that was struck. Unfortunately for Dana, this mistake was pretty serious because it ended up affecting the muscle in her right eye, which caused her eye to begin to droop down slightly. Dana spoke out about the experience saying, quote, I noticed it more than anybody else, but I was symmetrical before and now I'm not. End quote. This procedure marked the first and last time she got any kind of plastic surgery done because she didn't want to risk getting botched again. At number six, Ashley Tisdale. Here's a celebrity whose own body botched their plastic surgery results. Former Disney star Ashley Tisdale is another celebrity who's gone plastic and has experienced health complications as a result of getting work done. When Ashley first got her breast implants, she received the results that she was looking for. Ashley told her fans how before she got them done, she felt really insecure about her body, seeing that she felt as though getting this procedure done would help her feel better about herself. Though this augmentation did help boost her confidence for a while, Ashley said that soon there came a time when the implants started to negatively impact her life and her health, saying, quote, little by little, I began struggling with minor health issues that were just not adding up. Food sensitivities as well as gut issues that I thought could be caused by my implants, end quote. The actress continued talking about how she made the decision to remove her implants to save herself from her health complications. Even though she walked away from the initial procedure with a good result, her health is really what got botched in the process. At number five, Mickey Rourke. For a long time, people have made some pretty harsh comments about Mickey Rourke's face. In his early career, he was praised for his looks, but now, not so much. A lot of people believe that he doesn't look anything like he used to, and a lot of that has to do with his botched plastic surgery having altered his appearance drastically. Mickey has spoken out about his altered appearance, saying that boxing is really what caused things to go downhill for him. Because he went in for reconstructive surgery from things that had been damaged through boxing, his face has never been the same. Speaking further on this, Mickey said, quote, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. I had my nose broken twice, I had five operations on my nose and one on a smashed cheekbone, end quote. If Mickey had gone to someone else for these procedures, maybe things would have been different and he wouldn't have gotten so botched. At number four, Laura Flynn Boyle. Laura Flynn Boyle was stunning in the 90s when she acted on shows like Twin Peaks and The Practice, but in the early 2000s, her look started changing drastically specifically her lips. Over time, fans started to notice that her face started to look very unnatural, and as a result of her altered appearance, no one wanted to cast her anymore. Boyle commented before her procedures that she was scared of aging, as she knew that she would lose work, but her botched procedures are what have actually blacklisted her from the industry. In 2010, Paul S. Nassif told the Daily Mail, quote, Laura Flynn Boyle appears to have had a rhinoplasty, lip augmentation, Botox, facial fillers, and possibly a brow lift and facelift. End quote. Nassif also said that Lara should refrain from any more procedures. Plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Saulhauser agreed, telling the outlet, quote, Lara Flynn Boyle, I feel, has gone overboard with the fillers to her cheeks and lips. 
end quote. At number three, Jamie Lee Curtis. Now this one actually surprised me a lot because I never actually knew that Jamie Lee Curtis had gone under the knife, but apparently it happened and it wasn't pretty. The actress opened up about a procedure she had received before shooting a movie where she got the fat taken out from underneath her eyes because she said that she was looking puffy. Well it turns out that this ended up a little botched and her looks weren't too great because when she got to set to start filming the movie, the cameraman actually said that he couldn't shoot her anymore because her face was messed up. Jamie recalled feeling super embarrassed because she had changed her looks too much. She also said that she was unaware of the fact that when you take fat from one area of your body, a quote, comes back in another place. Jamie took this botched experience as a learning moment and never tried a procedure like that again. At number two, Heidi Montag. Heidi Montag is probably one of the most well-known celebrities for having received botched plastic surgery. In 2010, Heidi took her looks and her body to the limit and underwent 10 procedures in the same day. The procedures she received were neck liposuction, a brow lift, a nose job revision, a chin reduction, getting her ears pinned back, a second breast augmentation, fat injections in her cheek, liposuction in her waist, hip, and inner thighs, Botox in her forehead, and butt implants. So needless to say, there was a lot going on that day. In the aftermath of her dramatic transformation, Heidi opened up about her procedures, her regrets, and what went wrong. She said that her breast augmentation went too far as she made her chest too heavy for the rest of her body, and as if that wasn't bad enough, this long day of surgery took such a huge toll on her body that she actually flatlined for a minute during surgery. Heidi also said that these procedures left her with some pretty bad scarring as well. After all of this work, not only was her appearance botched, but her career was as well, as she she ended up losing a lot of work because of this drastic change. And finally, at number one, Zac Efron. Now this one isn't exactly a confirmed plastic surgery case, but it sure did cause a lot of commotion over the summer. There had been a lot of speculation concerning Zac Efron's supposed new look, as people started saying that Zac got some work done, and by some, I mean a drastic amount. Zac showed up in a video about Earth Day looking pretty different and very swollen. The lower half of his face was looking very puffy, almost like he had had gotten a lot of Botox done or some other kind of procedure, and people were super confused by this sudden transformation. The internet started debating whether or not he'd gotten surgery, with some people chalking this all up to Zach simply getting wisdom tooth surgery, using that to explain all the puffiness, but others weren't too convinced. According to one celebrity plastic surgeon, they thought that it looked like Zach may have gotten fillers to reshape his jawline, or that he had actually gone under the knife and that there was some residual swelling going on. It was all just a very sudden change that a lot of people just weren't Expected. At number 10, Farrah Abraham. Usually when someone goes in for any kind of medical procedure, the doctor asks if you have any allergies or they would do an allergy test on you to make sure that you won't have a negative reaction to whatever substance is entering your body. But for Teen Mom star Farrah Abraham, that allergy test didn't happen and she had a horrible reaction when she received an experimental lip procedure. You might have seen the infamous photo of Farrah Abraham's botched lip procedure, but let me tell you the story of how she got in that mess. In 2015, the reality star revealed that she had a horrendous allergic reaction when she went under the knife for an experimental lip implant procedure. Farrah said that once she got the procedure done, she knew very quickly that something was wrong when she realized that the anesthesia wasn't working for her. The doctor tried to course correct, but things just kept getting worse. She just decided to continue on with the operation, but after the procedure was done and the implant was put in, that's when things took a turn for the worse. Turns out Farrah had an intense reaction to something during the procedure that caused her lip to swell up like crazy crazy, leading to those crazy pictures. Now because this was an experimental procedure, there's always the risk of something going wrong, but after coming clean about what happened to her, Farrah's doctor probably didn't get much business after that. At number 9, Carrot Top. Have you ever looked at a celebrity after a while and think to yourself, something just isn't right here? Well that's what a lot of fans have been saying about Carrot Top. The comedian is pretty well known for his signature looks with his bright orange hair, freckles, and crazy expressions, so no one can mistake him that's for sure. However, over the years, there's been speculation that the comedian has undergone a few cosmetic surgeries that have him looking a little different, and some say that whoever did this to Carrot Top needs to put the scalpel down. Even though he's denied ever having received plastic surgery and mostly credits his looks to his workout regimen and gym habits, there are others out there who believe that there's something a little artificial that the comedian has been hiding from his fans. It's believed that the comedian has received a number of plastic surgery procedures, such as an eyebrow lift, Botox injections, lip filler, and laser peels, which many people 
people see as the reason why his freckles are less evident. Because of the fillers and lifts, a lot of people think his face has been left looking too stiff and too fake, leading fans to label him as botched. Whoever did this to the comedian should probably stop because not only do people think that the comedian looks plasticky, but he doesn't look like himself anymore. Now before I carry on with the video, I would like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like if you're enjoying it so far. And while you're at it, check out my gaming channel Viper Girl if you're interested in gaming content because I've got some fun stuff going on over there and you should totally go check it out. At number 8, Courtney Cox. I know that for a lot of plastic surgeons out there, they just aim to please, so when a patient comes in with some kind of cosmetic goal in mind, they try to achieve that as best they can, but I think that maybe there comes a point where the doctor has to say no because clearly there are other plastic surgeons out there who have yet to put their foot down, leading to a lot of celebrities going a little overboard with their looks. For actress Courtney Cox, this is pretty much how she got botched because no one stopped her from going overboard with the Botox. Courtney has said in interviews that some doctors started suggesting she get fillers here and there, and after one too many pokes, she was left looking more plastic than human and totally botched. In a way, Courtney got addicted to fillers, and she said that getting all this work done didn't end up making her feel better. If anything, it left her feeling worse about her appearance than ever. The fillers got so intense that Courtney eventually said enough is enough and got all the fillers in her face dissolved. The actress has said herself that she was left looking nothing like herself, and so maybe her doctor needs to be stopped because instead of having her best interests at heart and saying no to too much work, they just let it all continue. At number 7, Wayne Newton. When you want to search up the worst celebrity plastic surgery results, singer Wayne Newton may show up because he's gotten a lot of work done that makes people wonder, what did that doctor do to you? Because of the amount of work Wayne has had done, not only can he not move his face properly because of how tight everything is, but he's also left looking nothing like himself. After a guest appearance on an episode of The Bachelorette, so many people made the joke that after getting work done, Wayne has been left looking eerily similar to his wax figure. I mean, it's a little mean, but I can kind of see it. Wayne has never explicitly come out to say that he's had work done and which procedures he's received, but we can tell that it's been a lot and that doctor did him pretty dirty. I'm not sure what it takes to make someone's face look so frozen like that, but it certainly isn't a natural result, so maybe this doctor needs to step away from the cosmetic surgeries for a while so no one else ends up looking frozen too. At number 6, Lil' Kim. Another celebrity who's gone through a drastic cosmetics change is rapper Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim has received a lot of cosmetic surgery over the years for various reasons and with various outcomes, but after it all, she's left looking a little unlike herself. In interviews over the years, Lil' Kim has spoken out about her plastic surgeries and what led her to get them. The rapper has said that some procedures were done to correct damage done to her by her ex-boyfriend, and other nips and tucks happened because she just didn't feel good about herself. There's nothing wrong with wanting to correct something that makes you feel insecure, and getting other things corrected that have been damaged can also be an important step in your life, but these procedures should also be done by good doctors, and from seeing the results Lil' Kim has been left with, I'm not sure she went to the most credible source. This doctor needs to be stopped because I know that Lil' Kim could have been left with better results had someone gone about the procedure with more care or different techniques. At number 5, Amanda Lepore. American model and socialite Amanda Lepore has always been pretty upfront with her plastic surgeries and what it took for her to get like that. Amanda is pretty much a living Barbie doll because of how plastic she looks and she is all about it. She's outlined the amount of procedures she's received and says that she has one of the most expensive bodies because of how much work she's had done. From nose jobs, brow lifts and eyelid surgery to cheekbone, lip and breast augmentation, pretty much everything has been altered in some way, but the one procedure that Amanda has received where this doctor probably should have been stopped was the surgery she received to remove her lower ribs to create a smaller waist. Now call me crazy, but I feel like surgery as extreme as removing some of your bones is a little much and probably very unnecessary. I don't know how safe a procedure like that is, but it certainly can be the greatest thing for you. Maybe this doctor should step away from the operating table for a bit. At number 4, Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow is one celebrity who's gone to great lengths to hide his plastic surgeries. He flat out denies having ever received any kind of plastic surgery, but many of his fans aren't so sure that's the truth. You can tell that Barry has had work done and a lot of people agree that it's not the greatest overall result. It's been reported over the years that Barry has undergone several procedures including having received a facelift in 1995, a second facelift and eyelid surgery in 2003, and then a third facelift in 2005. After all that work, Barry has been 
left looking very tight in the face, very stretched out and pretty unnatural as well. Many people out there consider Barry as one of Hollywood's plastic celebrities because of how these procedures have left him looking. Barry's plastic surgeon probably should have been stopped because he left his patient looking pretty unnatural and a little unflattering. If you're going to pay someone all this money to get work done, I would expect to come out looking improved but not fake, so if I were Barry, I would ask for my money back. At number 3, Lisa Rinna As I mentioned with Courtney Cox's story, when it comes to getting work done, I feel like the doctor needs to keep their patient's best interests in mind. For these doctors, they have to think about what would look good on their patients and how to achieve it, but apparently there are a lot of doctors out there who don't seem to remember that and they can create some pretty gnarly results. Take Lisa Rinna for example. The reality star opened up about her experience getting Botox and how she got botched because she and her doctor went a little overboard with the fillers. Lisa said that she decided to try getting Botox Botox in her cheeks because all of her friends were getting it done and she wanted to try it out for herself. But after getting the injections, Lisa said, quote, I saw a photo and was like, oh Jesus, that's not good. That is not good, end quote. Lisa has said that she's learned from her mistakes and won't be trying Botox like that again. But her doctor should also be taking Lisa's experience as a lesson on knowing when less is more. At number two, Latoya Jackson. Though her late brother Michael was heavily criticized for his plastic surgery, a lot of people have cast the same judgment on Latoya Jackson because the work she had done isn't considered the most flattering. Some sources have commented on how similar Latoya and Michael looked after undergoing their respective cosmetic procedures, with many believing that they went to the same plastic surgeon because they both came out with pretty jarring features. A lot of people also think that whoever this plastic surgeon is needs to be stopped because they kind of botched the Jacksons. Latoya came out looking nothing like herself and over the years she's gotten more and more plastic. This doctor did her so dirty because instead of maintaining her natural features, features that made her who she is, they totally erased that and gave her a completely new face. And finally, at number one, Janice Dickinson. Janice Dickinson, who many people consider to be one of America's first major supermodels, has definitely changed in recent years. Janice is another celebrity who's fallen victim to too much plastic surgery, and it's a little sad. Janice has had some major cosmetic surgery, and she's left looking nothing like her younger self. Janice has appeared on an episode of Botch during the show's first season to fix a breast augmentation that was done over 30 years ago, but that's not all people think have been botched on Janice's body. Many people say that her facelifts, Botox, and other alterations have also seemingly gone wrong. We don't know who did this, but they did Janice so dirty. Now I want you guys to tell me which celebrity plastic surgeon from this list needs to be stopped the most and why. I would love to hear your opinions on it, so leave me your thoughts down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I've been your host, Bria Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends. Bye!